Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 2, Episode 6 of All American. This time the title of the episode is Hard Knock Life. And we're back, we're ready for a new episode of All American. Today, actually, we're going to do a binge. We're going to watch at least three episodes uh and i'm very very excited because i love all american is one of my favorite shows and i actually did something very fun that i think makes people you know get involved i think i don't know i just came up with the idea like five minutes before i actually posted which is have a little bit of like a, a versus you know uh, between what show you wanted me to um react to and do a binge today it was all american or dawson's creek and by very little because it was really a really tight fight all american won and yes i'm reacting to all american that doesn't mean that i'm not gonna do a binge for dawson's creek don't worry about it just stay tuned for my next post after i'm done with today's with today's binge so we're gonna do episode six right now um previous episode wasn't the previous episode the one where we discover that Jordan got someone pregnant, right? I think that was the episode, right? Yes, it was. It was the episode with that. And a lot of other things happen. You know, Layla with Spencer with a, a lot of shit has happened. Uh, so, yeah, right now we're going to watch episode six. I'm very excited. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to continue watching, to continue enjoying my reactions. Let me know what was your favorite part of the reaction on the comment section down below. If you reacted the same way as I did back when you watched this for the first time, let me know in the comment section down below. And like I said, I'm hell excited. I cannot wait to watch this episode. And I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys continue supporting for more. So... We're gonna watch episode 6, give it a lot of thumbs up, hearts, whatever way you can do to support this reaction, do it. Uncut reaction, always post it first on Patreon, and that's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season 2, episode 6 of All American. Here we go. <laughs> it's those lessons that mean the most. Care to share some mm -hmm. of those lessons? When I was a kid, I was taught to tackle my problems, block out my fears, and always finish strong no matter what. That's how I try to live my life. Who taught you that? He's such an inspiration. Spencer? His dad. Oh. Spencer! He's such an inspiration. This rematch is a lose-lose game for us, but... I was outvoted by athletic director Hart. It's an exhibition game, so we set it up to feel a little more like the real thing. So be prepared. This one here is going to be exciting to watch. So tell your friends, have them tell some friends, and then tell some more friends. <laughs> I don't really understand how is how is like uh, the the whole div one division, division one, or something like. I I don't understand that because I'm not very familiar with how that works. I'm not familiar with American football. That's what I mean. Oh, I did my job. I won the state championship. Tell me, Cliff, what is your job? My job? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I create buzz. Buzz. Oh. Excitement. Man. Look, I think <laughs> championship was already yesterday. <laughs> Billy is hilarious. Man. <laughs> I love that. We're on the same side, Billy. Are we? Are we though? This rematch of yours, it's a bad idea. We have zero incentive to play. We beat him already. Now if we lose, we tarnish our title. Then don't lose. I don't like this idiot. You know, where was he when they were like struggling last year? No one believed in Billy. And now that they are state champions, now they are like, oh, you know. I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I don't like the Cliff guy. Saturday at three p.m. Saturday. Okay. Saturday. Okay. Saturday. Well, um. He's nervous. He's like, I, 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 I want to hug him, you know. But he made a grown-up decision to, you know, you know, to go in without wearing a condom. So, like, 
And also, it's it's her responsibility as well. But the thing is that they it looks like they have decided to keep the child, the baby. Okay, okay, but eventually we'll have to tell your parents. What was her name? Simone, right? I just... What if it was more than just a house, Layla? What if this one, we both work really hard to make it a home together? Okay. I'm pretty tired, so I'm just gonna go upstairs and head to bed early. She, she believes that he will just leave again, you know? Sounds at the same time as the South Crenshaw rematch. Okay, I can't go. I don't want to feel like I'm bailing. Right. So, why did you say yes then? Jordan! So ghosting her felt like the better solution. Yeah, apparently. Oh no, don't ghost him. Not cool, Olivia. Uh, she's not pregnant, okay? Mm -hmm. Completely. When do you ignore Asher? I think she's so upset I went to dad about the pregnancy first. Hence the freezing out. Well, now you know how Simone feels. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia! <laughs> Olivia just like drop in truth bombs. <laughs> That's why she's my child, you know? You know, there are some people that when they want to process their anger or frustration, they exercise, and I congratulate those people. I, on the other hand, just want to sleep. <laughs> True. Look, you're yeah. good. Just call her. She could probably use a distraction. So what if she don't think I'm ready? Why are you doubting yourself? I ain't never seen you like this. Man, look. I it's just that her music like is important for her. It's still new to me. Look, Billy, obviously Jordan trusts you more than he trusts me. That's it's not just, true. That's it not matter. You clearly think I can't handle the kids alone, right? So... Have at it. Take the reins, Billy. They're all yours. I think you guys are looking this from the wrong side. You know, where it's like, it's not a competition. I mean, he, he felt comfortable at that moment to talk to his dad. At least he talked to one of you guys, you know. I think it's it doesn't need to be a fight. That's all I'm saying. This field is your origin story. Yeah, well, I got to get back to my field, all right? Focus on my game. Hey, yo, then why are you here? What's up with all these cameras, dawg? Look, it's not what you think. Mad disrespectful, dawg. And I ain't even surprised. You just a dirty player. First you take out our QB. Then you convince Darnell to That's leave. That's not what happened. Now y'all out here filming our plays. Trying to put our team's struggles on blast. Y'all need to leave. Now. Before I have security put y'all asses out. Well, he has a right to be upset. You shouldn't be- I don't know why you're even here, Spence. Look at this too. I thought they were gonna like maybe take things slow, but they're like smooching already. I mean, do they look cute? I have said this before. They're cute individually, you know, so together, of course, they look cute, but like, I ain't feeling it, man. I ain't feeling it. About my mom? She texted me. What you want? Liv, is everything okay? Oh, he doesn't know, right? Me. You think this was a mistake? I think that maybe she realized you guys are better as friends, you know? Or maybe Olivia has this thing about, like, trying to help and fix people all the time. And maybe that's what it got confusing there. Because I am totally not feeling this. And I don't think Olivia's feeling this either, you know? What messed up favor do you want now? I just wanted to see you talk. A chance to explain why we haven't... This really isn't fair to me. My entire future is on the line this season. Maybe my future means nothing to you. I don't know. Of course it does. I don't care, Mom. But it means everything to me. I gotta go. It's a, it's a, I think it's a bit too, it's a, you know, everything is too much for him right now. Coop, it's really good. But not great. No, it's all good. I got so many other tracks you might like. No, the lyrics are perfect. The song could be great. It's just missing something. What? But I have an idea. Do you mind? Yeah, do you Go do? ahead. 
I, I miss Patience, though. I miss her. She wasn't in the last episode, so. She, was she? I don't know. But I miss her seeing her. She, I like her. Oh, this is pretty. Let me see. <clears throat> they like something like, like this part right here. Like, you can stay or you can leave, but this is me. This is me. There it is. I don't know, something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. My girl can sing as well, girl. Girl, I'm falling in love again. Damn it. Yeah, did you write these words? So, what's it mean to be a leader? Your team has to look up to you. You know, when you're QB1, you lead by example. It's about earning the respect of each player on the team. He kind of loves his way, right? Ooh, 10 seconds, guys. Who's going to beat that, huh? Okay, okay. Step aside. I'm here for the crown. What is Gigi Three. wearing? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Since when did the pregame ritual turn into an eating contest? How is it that Olivia Hi. always looks... Like, always, always looks good. How is this possible? I don't think she's from this planet. She was created by the gods. I am upset. Which you have every right to be. Okay, but he's in there with his team and cameras. Do you really want everyone in your business? Yeah, do you really want that? How did I become this girl, Olivia? You mean this dope ass won't let anyone walk all over her chick? <laughs> Thanks. He's gonna call you soon. Okay, I promise. Maybe she's just as scared that she doesn't want to do this alone, you know? And she's very young to, like, just say, Oh, you know what? Fuck this man. I'm gonna do it on my own. She's she's scared. Jordan is scared. She hasn't even talked to her parents yet, so... Now look, I'm not giving up on finding out what happened to Corey. But since you only care about what happens on the field, I'll play for Crimson Arm Mom. If you beat us, I'll walk away. Oh, they're we gonna win. lose. You gotta help me find out why Corey left. Oh, Kevin damn. Hardy, no. You're not going back down from a challenge, huh? I bet. Ain't no way y'all gonna win. I don't... I wouldn't be so sure. A lot of emotions are happening right now. Maybe he was right to go to his dad. Under my watch, he crashed your car, almost got arrested for fighting, and got a girl pregnant. That's actually as a result of dad cheating on you. So, I just want to say that. I don't think it's our responsibility. The Jordan thought that he was playing with the ants on the field, but <laughs> I know why he's distracted, but come on. I, I, even I could have thrown that even like better. Even though I'm pretty sure I, I, I don't know even how to like throw that type of ball. Yeah, I, I better shut up. <laughs> Wait, are we winning? I have absolutely no idea what just happened. I thought a touchdown is when you pass the line, but I don't think they... I don't know. <laughs> I am so confused, man. Did you guys won? Hey, Dad. Um... Hey, you see those fancy uniforms? All that new gear? It should be clear by now whose team this is. Boy, if you don't get your hand off my arm... Oh, thank I God. I you there was to try me. Because yeah. I will let this entire program burn down to the ground before I let you corrupt my boys. Thank you. Thank you, Billy. I love that he's always defending them. Is this an, an MMA fight? <laughs> or a football game? I am, like, finding it very hard to, like, see the differences. My God. Yes, go! Look at my boy. Why do you mean block him? Why do you mean block him out? Are you like, isn't that your team, you idiot? If he doesn't get up, it means Beverly forfeits. Oh. I didn't know they could do that. If you just got forfeit? This ain't how I start to play the game. This whole rematch was wrong from the jump. I ain't trying to win like this. Okay. Okay, I like this, I think. I, I 
I don't really know what bend the knee means. <laughs> that they quit the game, that they are not gonna play anymore. No. Like I said, I'm a solo act. Alright, I respect that. And listen, you keep okay. on hustling, alright, cool? You definitely got something special. Oh. If your girl's ever interested, please tell her to give me a holler. Yeah, sure. Oh, Thanks. shit. I'm so sorry, Koo. But it's you you produced the music, though. You created everything, and yeah? What, what is wrong with you guys being a, a duo? You guys are already a duo? Uh, uh, okay, I kind of understand, because she's like, yeah, okay. But like, oh. Hey, doesn't matter if we're fighting, you can always call me. I know. Because you're my best friend. Oh, your girlfriend sound. That yeah, that that's more important to her. More than I need a boyfriend. Yeah, good. See, told told you I wasn't feeling it. I told you I was I wasn't feeling it. And like my girl, this is why Olivia and I are connected. You know, she's my child. You you have to understand this connection, man. I just don't want to risk losing you. I can't believe he's gonna be a dad. It makes me feel like Nathan, you know, and 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 Haley. Oh. Is that really sick? Oh of damn! Sick. Why leave? Why not just tell us? They didn't want to hurt you guys. Uh, because when this kind of cancer comes back, it's aggressive and likely terminal. <gasps> No, because don't say that. To see what he was going. Hold up, hold up. Is this really? Okay, okay, yeah. Like, like, let's not jump into the conclusion of like Ori is about to die. I know I had that theory because like that it's the only thing that made that made sense to me. But like, let's let's hold up. Okay, let, 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 hold on, hold on. What's really happening? You telling me our pops is dying? Oh damn it. Okay, guys, so that was the end of Season 2, Episode 6 of All American. And this was a good, good, good episode. You know what I'm liking the most about, uh, about the show overall? Is that um, the show really cares about all its characters. You know, and they care about the characters not only when they are in a relationship. A lot of shows like are solely based on the interactions of the ships, and whenever they deviate from that, it's like, you know, why am I watching this? Like, the audience just doesn't connect. You know what I mean? But with with all american i love what they are doing in like you know they're building every character uh in different ways uh without the necessity of them having uh uh um you know relationship drama it's so not about that it's just about you know them telling us the story about this entire you know, uh, cast about every single character, you know. You have Asher going through things with his mom. You have Olivia, you know, also going through things in her personal life with her brother. With Asher, you know, uh, uh, her figuring out that they are better off as friends. You have Spencer dealing with, you know... Um, her his dad leaving and now what it meant you know why did he that his dad left as well um you have Layla dealing with her uh issues with depression with finding out her mom had depression with realizing that it might have been a lot more difficult than what she first thought and like all of that even Coop you know because she is realizing about her dream and about you know producing music and and singing and things like that and even a bit of jealousy on the fact that you know is patience the one that JP wants uh, instead of her so I think that 
you know, the fact that all the characters have individual stories and those stories kind of do mix with what is, you know, with relationship and things like that, you know, with Jordan about to become a dad as well, all of that, you know, I think that it's extremely um, important and, and it's beautifully told, you know, where, where they're just like, Letting the characters grow, you know, they do they have like relationship dramas? Yes, a bit because like you have uh Jordan going through all of this, you know, that might it, it's extremely dramatic if you put it that way because he's still in high school, you know, he still has his whole future ahead of him, and now he it's it's not something that is gonna completely derail him from his future but it's a responsibility that he has to take on um and how their parents deal with it how her sister deals with it and all of that you know so I think it's it's um it's very important you know and I think that a lot of shows lose their way when they try to focus on actual stories that don't involve just relationships and All American is doing it so well and it has so many things you have like so many things to look forward and it's just I feel like like, like it's amazing like you can connect with whatever character not just with our lead character with Spencer, you have, you know, a lot of point of views and a lot of things happening. And like, you know, I think that you, um, you really, you know, um, uh, have all of that. And like, that what that's what makes me like the show even more, you know? Um, like I said, Asher is going through things with his mom. We know that his mom might have left because of some sort of, like, uh, a threat from his dad, you know? And at the end of the day, as parents, you know, we, sh we, we shouldn't have that jealousy of, like, who our kid loves better or, like, just trying to be, like, nah, the kid's mine or something like that. Unless that other person is, you know, a terrible influence for your kid, you know, you have to remove yourself from that and just, you know, let them be. Because what Asher's dad did, I mean, we don't know what he exactly did, but the thing is that he threatened her and she was scared enough to not contact Asher for a whole year, you know. So he's going through all of that um, and we are seeing him go through all of that. And he might like uh, um, Olivia, I mean, who wouldn't like Olivia? She is, like, literally an angel. But she's not in the position right now to have a boyfriend. And I love the fact that I'm glad that she didn't uh, actually drink or anything, but that we can hear her talk to her sponsor, figure things out in a healthy way, talk to Asher, and it wasn't some dramatic of like, no, you like, or become something toxic, where Asher is like, no, we should try, and that drives uh, Olivia into the point of her wanting to drink again, you know, so I am glad that Asher took it as like, no, you know what, if we're gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend, and it's not gonna work, and I'm gonna lose my best friend, then that's it, you know, I, I don't, I don't want that, I want my best friend, and, like, I think that is ma extremely mature, mature for both of them, you know, I mean, for Asher might not have been a trigger to drink again, but for Olivia, it was, so I, I'm glad that she was able to say, I actually can do this, you know, and, like, chose to stay healthy and chose to stay sober, which it is, like she said on, on this episode, it's a choice that she makes every day, you know, to stay sober, to stay healthy, and, like, I love Olivia for that. I love Olivia in general. Just, like, anything Olivia does, I find it extremely powerful and endearing, and, like, she's an angel, Okay, she's an actual angel. And, like, the fact is that she even helped her brother on this episode because he was being, like, Jordan was kind of ghosting Simone after he was like, yes, I'm gonna, you know, um, be there for the ultrasound. And then he was like, maybe since I have the game, I, I won't go, you know. And I, I love that his dad was trying to teach him a lesson but I think a little bit of encouragement would have, be, have been better of, like, actually, son, the game is not as important as your 
future child, you know, but he said, you know, I trust that you will come to this decision and blah, blah, blah. Um, and he actually took his mom to the ultrasound. She did wait it outside, but, you know, it's something that um, Laura was appreciative of, I, I think, because she was feeling like left out. She was feeling like, oh, because of me, all of these things happen because that that's practically what Billy said. But it's not like that, you know, at the end of the day, Jordan and Olivia are, you know, yes, they are very young, but they're making the, their decisions. It's their life. I mean, as a parent, all you can do is guide them and like tell them what's right and what's wrong. And it will be their decision to, you know, go down a path or an another, you know. So I think that Laura is doing a great job. The thing is that what they're doing, what they both Billy and Laura are doing wrong is that they're finding about like, like, oh yeah, well my son trusts you better, so like I'm not gonna talk to him and things like that. I think that's just, I don't think that that benefits anyone, you know. So yeah, hopefully they they after the conversation that Billy had with Laura. Uh, it, it things start to be to be better now. It, if I was Laura, I will be divorcing his ass. I'm sorry, I just don't. I don't care like uh, what situation. If you were bad and like in a bad place, you cheat on me. That's it. You know what I mean. So for me, um, uh, uh, that will be the end of the relationship. But if Laura, like, I don't condemn women who want to like find a way to save their marriage even if that happened you know and I lo I know it happened a long time ago but still you know I, I yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't do it but that's me um but but Laura you know and 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 Billy talking about like in a healthy way without screaming at each other without being like passive aggressive or or anything like that they were actually come to term with like could we? Can we try? And at least, at, at least I think that they are going to try. Now, it will be a rediscovering of their relationship, I feel, right? Because uh, Laura thinks uh, of, of Billy in a different way now than she did before. So it is understandable that... Um, it is understandable that she is a little bit wary of trusting him again, Right? But they can work things out, you know. Um, I don't know. I think I will support whatever Laura wants to do, you know. Um, and I don't think people should judge if she wants to forgive him or if she wants to try to forgive him, you know. So, all good. Um, I really liked also the conversation between Spencer and... What is Darnell? No, it's not Darnell. Yeah, it is Darnell. You know, about Corey and about like why he left and things like this and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then figuring out that... Uh, but I think that, you know, as much as it makes sense that that's the reason why he left, it's still like we are here, you know, just making assumptions, you know. Yeah, he had cancer before. It might have come back. Darnell does another full story. It might have come back as well for a third time, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's terminal. You know, it means it could also mean that 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 Corey left because he didn't want to make his family go through, you know, the pain of having someone with cancer. You know, because odds are, you know, like you don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe this time is a lot more aggressive. Yes. But doesn't mean he can't beat it, right? I think so. I don't know. But I, I don't like the fact that they jump to the conclusion so fast. You know, I mean, I do think that he's he's going to die. But I think I think that there could be more to it as well. I think. Um, but I love Grace. I love I love how you know she has raised these kids and is she's there for them and. Such a beautiful family, and they like Spencer and 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 Dylan didn't deserve to like, you know, just they just got their dad back, and now he, you know, he might be gone. That's just sad, man. Um, then what else happened on this episode? Um, oh, the whole thing with Cliff, he sees them as just like. 
to the players as just like you know kettle like you know like how you say it like you know they, they mean absolutely nothing to him you know it's just like he wants to feel uh uh important and like he was like tackle him like that was his team he just was there for the show she he wanted the blood and the drama and like that and like he's messing with these kids and like it's so disgusting honestly you know um and i i i didn't know what bend the knee i still i'm not sure what it means i have seen uh uh you know when it comes to the black life matters movement uh they do that they have done that on other on games like this one right like american football and and other games that they bend the knee and i i always thought it was like i i, I really didn't know what it meant i have seen it but i didn't i don't know what it meant in in, in this game it meant that uh beverly forfeit the game right so yeah But it was a really, really intense moment, right? Uh, because, like, Spencer was not going to be anyone's puppet, you know? And, like, I like that. I really did. Uh, I felt very proud of him and of Darnell as well. Because I think it was, like, yeah, he's realizing that they, he's just using you guys, you know? So, yeah. Um, okay, we talked about a Spencer. and a, uh, Now we have also Layla. You know, who was, like, helping Coop and everything. And she really felt good because, you know, she loves music. She loves that part uh, of herself. And so she felt comfortable enough to do it. And I, I was glad because she was smiling again. And, like, you know, it's something that she's passionate about. And I love that. Um, but then she discovered this one track where she was, like, When, where her mom is basically just t saying that she wants to end things, you know. And that was extremely scary. Like, imagine that I have gone through things like that with my mom, who also suffers from depression. And hearing those words is just like, that's exactly where my mom has been many, many times, you know. And it's sad. And now she asks her dad that question. And we li leave it as a cliffhanger. Uh, the answer can be no, it was an accident. And it could have been an accident. That doesn't mean that, you know, the mom, just because she had depression, that she did something. Or it could also mean that she did, you know. But I think I, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that it was a complete accident. I, I don't I, I don't know. Oh, God, but it was intense, you know. And then we have Coop, who, you know, I think acted very selfishly, right? Because... He was like, JP was like, are you guys a duo? And she was like, nah, I'm like, she was just helping. And like, you know, thank God patient wasn't, wasn't there. Because just imagine if, if she was like, just disregarding her contribution to her music. It will have feel awful, right? Uh, but thankfully she wasn't there. And then, you know, she was being extremely supportive of her. And I, we ha we know that, that Patience sings because she sings at the church. Um, so for me, it was like, oh my God, how can you do this to Patience, right? Like, if she has a shot, how can you keep that? Like, that's totally not fair. But also, Coop is very young as well. And they are going to make mistakes, you know. And she might feel a little bit jealous of that opportunity that patient is getting without even trying. And she's, like, trying to work towards. And it's like you're one more of the thousands of producers or songwriters that I already have. So you're nothing new. Like, imagine hearing that. But, like, your friend is actually good. The friend that is actually not trying to become a musician can't have a future with it. Like, you kind of have to feel a little bit bad, right? But I think she will come to, you know, she will come to her senses and, like, realize that she's being pity and 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 tell patients that 
Either they're going to do it as a team because JP said that as a team they worked uh, together or tell her, you know, patient, go go after it. You know, it's an opportunity. It's a very good opportunity. Like, you can do it, you know, and I can still look for my way as a solo artist, you know, but hey, there's an opportunity for you. Go and take it, you know, so yeah. Um... So, yeah, 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 this was a really good episode. It was a really good episode. I love that it's an ensemble cast, you know, story. It's not about, like, core four things or, like, anything like that. It's just really about the story and, like, the story of these characters drives the show. So, I love it. I love it. I love this episode. Cannot wait for the next one and the next one. So stay tuned for that because I will post three reactions today. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys liked it. Continue supporting for more. Give it a lot of thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction always posted for some Patreon. Thank you for joining for all your support. You guys are fantastic, and yeah, cannot wait for the next episode, which is titled Coming Home. So probably Corey is coming home. Who knows? Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm excited for that episode as well. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for All American. That's it. Bye, guys.